which you guys today were taking a look at some hidden Windows commands that make you look like a pro. So first, let's right click on the start button and we're going to open up the run box. Now, the run box has been around for many, many years and it's a great way to speed up productivity. So if you type MRT, this opens up the Windows malicious software removal tool. You can do quick scans or long scans, and this will help you to remove malware or viruses or other nasties on your system. Next up, we're going to be typing in the next command, which is going to be perfmon. This will open up the Windows performance monitor tool. So let's go ahead and type that command in here. And there you go. We have the performance monitor tool opened up and you can check the performance of different processes on the system, depending on what you're trying to do here. But it's been around for quite a while, this little tool, but it's useful to know. Next, clean MGR. This is the disk cleanup utility that is built into Windows. You can type this into your run box and it will open up the disk cleanup utility, which will help clean up any sort of junk files that are left on your system. I'm not going to run it on this video, but basically it's been around for a very long time. You can use a storage sense for this particular task now. Next up, we've got control, which is going to open up control panel. You can type control and it will open up the control panel just as quick as that. Next, we've got control admin tools, which will open up the administrative tools inside the control panel you can see right here all of the administrative tools are open powershell whether it will be steps recorder recovery drive local security policy this is an important one because it gives you access to all of the administration tools that you might need next ms info 32 will open up the system information this will give you all of the system information on your computer which is very useful uh, for finding out what system specs you have and what hardware you have in the system. PowerConfig.cpl would open up the power configuration tool, which is pretty much self-explanatory. allows you to set up your power plans inside Windows, and you can customize them and create new power plans from this window. Next, we're going to be opening up the regional settings with the intl.cpl command. Click OK, and this will open up the regional settings where you can change formats, customize number formats, currency, time, and date, all from this location. Next, we're going to be typing in the ncpa.cpl for your network connections. This will open up all of your network connections you have on that computer, which is very quick and useful to gain access to that location. If you want to customize your mouse, type Control Mouse. And then this will open up the mouse properties. You can customize your mouse settings by changing the pointers, buttons, and the speed of your mouse settings inside that location. Next, we're going to type in the lusrmgr.msc for your local users and groups. This will give you access to all the local users and groups on that computer. Next, OSK. This opens up the on screen keyboard. This is useful if you're having keyboard issues and you just want to use the on-screen keyboard, which is built into Windows. Next, we're going to take a look at the rsop.msc. This will open up the resultant set of policies on the system. And you can see right here, you're probably never, ever going to want to go in here, but it will open up a page and you can see when it's fully loaded, you'll get access to it right here. And the next one, you probably will want to gain access to it if you have Windows Pro editions, and that is Group Policy Editor, gpedit.msc. Push OK, and this will open up the Group Policy Editor where you can customize and turn off all that telemetry and all the unwanted applications and stuff like that from this location. Next, the DX Dialog equals the or Direct X Troubleshooter tool. This will give you information about your system and it'll also tell you whether it's working correctly when you click the next page it will say no problem found or it will tell you there's an issue and this will give you the display information here next we're going to look at the firewall settings by typing firewall.cpl this is for windows firewall as you can see here mine is being controlled by eset internet security 
but you can basically come in here and configure your firewall settings. DCC W will open up the display color calibration tool and you can go through and calibrate your display color. Next, we're going to take a look at the next one, which is your disk management, diskmgmt.msc will open up your disk management tool. Disk management is a useful tool for organizing your partitions, deleting, creating new volumes, and things like that. So let's move on to the next one, which is obviously going to be your device manager. So device, that be devmgmt.msc, and this will open up your device manager. I'm pretty sure everyone has been in device manager at some point. So that's how you can gain quick access to it. Next, we're going to go MS config, and this is for your system configuration tool. Probably everyone's been in here as well, especially if you want to access uh, safe mode or you want to change the boot record here or start up, you can do it there. Secpol.msc. This will open up the local security policy pane, and you can configure that inside here. So that's how you open up that location very quickly. You probably never even knew that existed on your PC. AppWiz.cpl is for your add and remove program section, which means you can remove and uninstall programs. Next, we're going to type in here inetcpl.cpl. This is for your internet properties. People used to go in here quite a lot back in the day, but it's still a useful place to uh, make sure you've got the correct settings. And if you want to configure that, that's where you gain access to it. Control folders. This is for your folders properties. This will give you quick access to the file explorer options panel where you can make changes. I'm pretty sure people go in here. It's one of the first places they go to, but that's how you can access it quickly. So MGR.msc is your certificate manager panel. You probably never even knew this existed, but this is how you can access it. And this is for all your certificates, as you can see here. For trusted people, there's lots of information inside here, probably for more the advanced user. Control schedule tasks. And this is for your scheduled tasks. I'm pretty sure people have been in this panel a few times to make changes inside here and stop and remove certain telemetry that is running on your system especially OneDrive and things like that. Next up, RegEdit. This is your registry editor. I'm pretty sure that everyone has gone into the registry editor at some point, but that's how you can get quick access using the run commands box. mmsys.cpl is your sound and audio. This is another one that's buried deep in Windows nowadays, and you can gain access to it very quickly by typing that command for your playback, recording sounds and communication. I still access these old legacy type panels on a regular basis. Utilman is your utility manager. This will take you straight to the utility manager pane, which is your accessibility, and you can gain access to these panels, uh, all of these panels with the run box as well. Services.msc is for your Windows services. I'm pretty sure that you've been in here a few times. Nowadays, a lot of these have been manually set to manual, and some people still go through and disable these when you really don't need to. WSCUI.CPL is your security center. You can open this up and this will take you straight to your security center. You've probably not seen this window either, but that's how you gain access to it. DFRGUI.EXE is your disk defragment. And again, you probably don't go in here much nowadays, but again, you can run the trim command or defrag mechanical drives from that location as well. And that is just a few of the many, many run commands that you can use in the run command box. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three support. I really do appreciate it. I shall catch you in the very next video. If you want to see more of this sort of content, let me know what you want to see in the comment section. Bye for now.